Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the real positive root of the given equation 3x minus cos x minus 1 equal to 0 by newton raphsons method correcting to 6 decimal places. As a first step, let us take f of x. f of x equal to, we have 3x minus cos x minus 1. Now let us find what is f of 0. 3 into 0 is 0, cos 0 is 1 and then we have minus 1. Totally it is minus 2. Let us find f of 1. First term is 3 minus, we need cos 1. Change into radian mode in calculator. 1 and we have to find the cos of that. So 0 0.5403. Let us take the value here. So we keep a bracket open and we will copy all the values here. But we need 6 decimal places. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the remaining and all we do not need. Let us close the bracket. Then we have minus 1. So this is 3 minus of this minus of this. So let us calculate the value. 3 minus 0 0.540302. And again minus 1. Totally it is 1 point. So we take the value and we copy it here. 1.459698. So we find the value it changes from negative to positive. So we can say the root lies between 0 and 1. And when we find the modulus of f of 0 that is greater than modulus of f of 1. It means the root is nearer to 1. So now we are going to take the Newton Raphson's formula xn which is sorry xn plus 1 which is xn minus f of xn divided by f dash of xn. Already we know f of x which is 3x minus cos x minus 1. From this if I find the derivative f dash of x it is 3 plus sin x. Now let us take the value of x0 as 1 and let us find x1 using this formula we get x0 minus f of x0 by f dash of x0. So this will be 1 minus 3 into 1 minus cos 1 minus 1 then whole division 3 plus sin 1. So we are going to calculate this using calculator. Let us find the value of the numerator. Let us open a separate bracket. 3 minus we need cos 1. So 1 cos for that. Then, then we have minus 1. So the full numerator of this part we calculated. This division and again open a separate bracket. 3 plus sin 1 we need. So sin of 1 bracket close. So this entire second part we have calculated and 1 minus of this value. So this value and we have plus 1 at the starting. So finally this we get let us copy that here because we have to round off to 6 decimal places. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So if I cancel this, we have to change the last digit as 6. So let us remove this and we put 6 at the end. So this is the value of x1. Now in the same way, let us find x2. x2 is x1 minus f of x1 
minus f dash of x1. So this is 0 0.620016 minus 3x. So 3 into 0 0.620016 then minus cos of this value 0 0.620016 then minus 1 whole divided by 3 plus sin x. So 3 plus sin of 0 0.620016. Now everything we are going to do it in the calculator. So first we will calculate the numerator part. Open bracket. 3 into 0.620016 minus cos of 0.620016 cos of that value then and then minus 1 this bracket close divided by again bracket open 3 plus 0.620016 6 sign of bracket close. So we got the entire value here. Then we have a minus sign in the middle. So I took the minus of this value. In the starting we have plus 0.620016. So finally we get this. We we'll copy here and we have to round off to six decimal places so one two three four five six so when we remove this the last digit will become one so we got x2 in the same way we have to calculate x3 so i'm going to write x3 here by formula it is x2 minus f of x2 whole divided by f dash of x2. Now coming to this value 0 0.607121 minus 3 into 0 0.607121 minus cos of 0 0.607121 minus 1 then in the denominator we get 3 plus sin x so which is 3 plus sin of this whole value 0 0.607121 now coming to the calculation part we calculate the the second part numerator open bracket 3 into 0 0.607121 minus 0 0.607 7 1 2 1 cos of that then minus 1 bracket close divided by bracket open 3 plus 0 0.607121 sign of that bracket close we got this entire value so after complete calculation we get this value we shall copy this we have to round off to 6 decimal places. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we remove this and the last digit becomes 2. So we got the value of x3. In the same way, let us find x4. So now x4 is x3 minus f of x3 divided by f dash of x3. So this will be 0 0.607102 minus 3 into 0 0.60712 minus cos of 0 0.607102 minus 1 whole divided by 3 plus sine of 0 
2. Now we are going to calculate using calculator. Now coming to the calculation part, let's take bracket open 3 into 0.607102 minus 0.607102 cos of that minus 1 bracket close then divided by bracket open 3 plus 0.607102 sin of that bracket close and this entire value we have to subtract from 0 0.607102 let's do the opposite minus 0 0.607102 I'm just getting the opposite sign because I subtracted in the opposite way. Let's take this value and paste it here. We don't need this minus sign and we have to round off to 6 decimal places. So we will remove this and when we round off instead of this last digit we have to keep one more. So we got the value of x4 and we notice x3 and x4 both are same 0 0.607. 102. So we say x3 equal to x4. So we get two consecutive values same. So we can say the better approximate root is this value 0 0.607102.